Today we're looking at these Harbor Freight self-jacking wheel dollies. Spoiler alert. They don't work as good as they should, but we can modify that. If you stay to the end, you'll see what I did to make them work like butter. Keep watching. So I've brought my heaviest vehicle, which is right around the max point, right around 5,200 pounds. We even threw the dog in there for good measure. And I've come to this parking lot that is has some cracks. It's a little bit smoother than roadway surface, but not much. Um, so we're going to pull out the go jacks, the uh, fake go jacks, and put them under this and see what it can do. So I just have them sitting in the back here. So throw under and one under each tire and see if they'll lift it. Hey, Ginger, come here. Come here. They stay there. Hey, you want to you wanna try this out? You want to go for a ride? Heck yeah, let's do it. So we'll just start spinning it sideways. Not easy. I cannot move it. Um, and you can see right now, you can see how much those wheels are just bending out. You see the rear back there? Way underneath, the rear end's the light end. This is the heavy end. But you can see everything bowing out. So we're right about, um, depending on what site you look at, this is right around 5,200 pounds, right at the max. See how much those ears are just bending up. So we are off the ground. The roller is off the ground. It does not look like the, I mean, it's warm today, but the asphalt is barely warm. The tires are not sinking in the asphalt. They're just not not moving so I can't get it to move at all so asphalt does have some give to it so just to be fair I found it's this actually a sidewalk I don't have anything under the rear but the e-brake's not set on so the differential should allow differential action and should allow me to move the front back and forth so we have the front both sides set up with the uh, with the lift jacks and we're gonna see if it'll move sideways on the sidewalk Yes, it will, but I am pushing as hard as I can. So now we're going to try it in close quarters where most of us would use it on my truck that's missing a bunch of front end parts. The engine and everything's still there. So I'm probably, I'm guesstimating around 3,500 to 4,000 pounds, somewhere in that realm. And you start running into issues. It's not easy to start these pulling towards you. That's, that's hard. Um, you can get down and try to you know, if there was a fender here, you can pull on the fender, you're going to break it, you're going to bend it. Um, you get in on the rim and try to start pulling the rim, which isn't the easiest. So I made up this. It's just a handlebar and it has these two square ends. And they fit down into the sides of either side of the things. and gives me leverage to pull. So I can put it there or I can put it on, on this side of it. So... We'll just start trying to move it, move it over. We've got all the wheels jacked up about an inch. And once you get it going, it goes. It's the switching directions. And so now all the wheels are facing this direction. Now if I try to go back, it'll go back for a second and then all the wheels are gonna wanna pivot and it's gonna be hard. So, We'll start going back, and then they'll pivot, and then it's hard, because none of them are lined up, and then it goes again in whatever direction it wants. I got pretty smooth concrete in here. So now I run into what I think is a major flaw over here up against the wall, and this is something I didn't think about, 
is they protrude a ton, so you can't actually tuck your vehicle up against the wall. Um, I'm actually roughly about eight inches is what it protrudes. So your vehicle still has to be eight inches. I was, I mean, I guess I saw them. I figured the dolly wheels figured, you know, three, four inches. Now you're a good eight inches uh, away from whatever you actually want to tuck up against. So I thought I'd bring you guys in a little bit closer just to show you the mechanism. Um, you got two different poles here. And I have read that these are breaking on the cheaper model because they're cast. These actually look machined, so that's good. Uh, they have the most, the weirdest spring system in here, which is how a spring, a spring should not work like that. Let's see if I can let you look in there. The spring, the spring actually like does an S shape and bends sideways. Uh, spring shouldn't do that. So they got some little bit, a little bit of a redneck engineering going on, trying to make stuff work. Uh, it came super greasy with this. The weird thing is, is this entire slide here came with all this grease on it, but it wasn't slippery. It was just like snot. This yellowish grease just, just caked here. It took two rags just to clean it all off, and it still wasn't off. And then I put some Lucas uh, Red on there because um, I figured it needs some, and I put a lot less. But it seems to slide good. This is your lock mechanism back here. And what that does is it keeps this rear paw pushed down. So when this front paw, let's see if you can get in here, pushes it back, it locks into the back one. And then you're able to come up and catch another tooth. And when you let it down, what it does is it picks that one up. So see it, it jumped up and it allows you to go down. And of course, being Harbor Freight, there are zero parts. If anything fails, I think those springs are gonna fail. I'm almost positive those springs, springs are gonna fail. Um, besides that, I think the wheels are the weak link. I think these are gonna break. I had to take apart every single one. And there's kind of a roller bearing in there, but it's not a roller bearing. It's the, uh, so you got plastic wheels, and then there was a, a metal sleeve with a uh, kind of like a roller bearing cage with these long needles would kind of roll in there but they weren't round they were cut off with like a wire cutter so they were all jaggedy so i don't think they actually rolled and there was no grease in them so i had to grease every single wheel which took me about 20 minutes per unit to grease the bearings inside there and it actually made it roll just a little bit better so maybe they'll hold up uh the locks are i mean i can spin that with my hand with the lock fully engaged the locks do not really work so um I thought about just omitting them. I did paint the little tab red so I could see that that was up so I didn't accidentally have it locked. But the wheels of the Wink Link. Inside there, there's really nothing but a, uh, like a cup. But the main, one major flaw, this one over here is right at almost the edge. This one is pushed in about almost three inches from this end, which actually, gives more leverage to this and makes this more susceptible to bend. Or if they would have put it right out of the end, you know, right here, this would be less likely to bend because there's not as much leverage. You're almost half the leverage on there if you put it right out there. Um, like everything Harbor Freight, they expect you to do all of the, uh, all of the quality control and, you know, you got to modify it to work. Is it worth the savings? So first we want to move this mount out as far as possible to hold the tube. So we'll cut off this little mount. We'll take a, a piece of flat steel and strengthen up the weakest part, which is this long piece that'll just bend in there. So we'll weld that on there. This has to be on a taper so that the tube will slide back up on. And we'll take our original mount and we'll mount it way out here. And then we'll add a gusset in here like that. Four hours modifying just two of them so that they don't bend and the wheels stay parallel to the ground. And this thing moves with almost at least half the effort. I mean, it just goes. The wheels change directions effortlessly. It is amazing the difference. Um, all I did was add, you know, I welded in some structural support right there. I actually put this in the press and the shop press and actually added a little bit of a we'll call it positive camber so then the weight would level it out but the welded a bunch of gussets in there amazing 
The problem is, I'll show you with the caster. Caster sitting level can go any direction, you know, any direction that it wants. No, no problem switching direction. Once you actually add an angle to it though, like this one over here was, it just wants to fall out. And actually to, for it to come back, the entire caster needs to climb and actually needs to lift up. And so that's what's happening. This caster over here always wants to point out that way. This caster over here always wants to point out this way and they're fighting each other. And so when you go inside to side, you know, this one's just fine and happy going this direction. And this one over here is fine and happy going that direction, but it wants to flop and has to climb up and going forward and never really wants to go forward. So having these perfectly parallel is ideal. Fully modified, the wheels don't sag at all. So now let's see how much force. I just have it just under the front, nothing under the back, just like on the sidewalk. Let's see how much force it takes to move it. I'm gonna say easily half the force. And the wheels don't just, you notice the wheels don't jump right back right away because they're perfectly level. Look at that. They take a while before they even kick back. I was pushing as hard as I could the other day. This is actually doable. I'll put links below where you can look at these and you can actually look at the original, the actual Gojack brands that are twice as much. These are about 500 bucks for a set of four. The Gojacks are about a thousand, eleven hundred bucks, but they're made in the USA. These are in China. They look identical. I think these were farmed out to China, or the patents run out, or the, the or Gojack is farming these, uh, licensing Harbor Freight to make these for them um, in a really cheaper version. They're not just like a clone. They're 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 cheapened up a fair amount. They do work, but I think they're ideal for a vehicle that's under four thousand, thirty five hundred, four thousand pounds. And that's about it. This, uh, the 5,200 pounds, absolutely not. It won't do 5,200 pounds without the heavy modifications that I did. I might even be able to push it 55, even 6,000 pounds with the modifications I did, but the, the casters probably won't hold up. So, eh, I'll put links below where you can look both of them. And in the video description, I'll put updates. You know, if you're watching this a year from now, or even five years from now, I read all the comments still, but I'll put updates in the video description of what they've done, what else I've done to it if I actually upgraded the casters. Or not. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoy that. Questions below. See you soon. Bye. Did I just wink at you guys? Weird. Check this out. Just my thumb. Yep. You tired? Want to play Frisbee again? Want to give me a Frisbee? Huh? Give me a Frisbee. Come on, give me one. Yeah. Yeah, Coca-Cola Frisbee. You ready for a ground attack? You ready? Oh, you went right over it. It got away from you. Hey, hey, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it.